Hello, friends. Today, let's solve two questions which are related to find the majority element in a given array. We need to know this algorithm before, which is called the majority vote algorithm. You can find the Wikipedia page here. Mm, okay, let's record these two uh, these two questions. Well, that is for recording Chinese version. Okay. So the question is, given a array numbers of size and return the majority element, the majority element is the element that appears more than n over 2 or, or n halves times. You may assume that the majority element always exists in the array. Uh, we can use simple proof to know that there must has only one element can be the majority element because if there are you can assume if there are two elements which are majority elements that means their total uh, occurrence will be more than n times so that is not correct so by the simple proof we know there is only one element that can be the majority element so you need to know that how about uh, this a uh, question. Given an integer array of size n, find all elements that appear more than n uh, over 3 times. By the same um, proof, we can know that there can only be two elements be the majority element. Because if there are three elements are majority, then that means their sum will be more than n, that is, uh, not correct. So that means we can only have two majority elements. Okay. Then let's look at uh, this uh, majority vote algorithm. Actually, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, several lines. That means we need a variable. We call it uh, element m, and we need a counter, and uh, we iterate all the element in the input sequence. If the count is equal to zero, and uh, then we assign m equal to the current element x and i equal to one. Else, if m equal to x, then we uh, increment the counter by one. Otherwise, we decree, decree, decrement the counter by one, and finally we return m. How to understand this algorithm? It's like we have two groups of uh, elements. One is this the majority element group. The other one is the rest element. So if we find, uh, well, the counter is zero, then we just uh, assign that element to the majority element group, and we make the counter equal to one. If we find any element is belong to the majority element group, we will increment the, increment the uh, majority element group size by one. If not, we meet an uh, element from the other group, then we need to uh, like uh, sacrifice one element in the majority element group to beat that element. So that's uh, how you can understand why we need to make the counter um, decrement by one. Yeah, so you can think like that. We have two groups uh, of elements. They need to fight with each other. And in the end, the majority element will left one element because that is the winner. Yeah, okay. You can like uh, um, replay the, the sentence I spoke uh, earlier to understand the, this algorithm. Okay, so if we write, I think that will be easier. We need two variables. One is called element, the other is called vote. We'll iterate the numbers, and if the number equal to element and the vote greater than zero, which means we already know which is the majority element group, and we already have some vote, we find one pattern. We should increment vote by one. If we don't know which is the majority element group, we will just assume that number belong to the majority element group. So we just assign 
element to that number and vote equal to one. Otherwise, we need to step sacrifice one element in the majority element group. So we just make the vote decre decrement by one. The reason I want to write like this is because that will be easier when we try to solve the majority element too. Well, as simple proof, we know that there should uh, be only two elements if uh, ever exist. Then element one, element two, vote one, vote two. So we iterate the numbers. Well, the same, actually, similar to that um, line. We have if element one equal to number and vote one greater than zero, which means we already know the majority element uh, one group. We should, uh, uh, we know the current number belong to the group one then the vote should increment by one. Or if the number belongs to element two group, we just also increment the vote two by one. Otherwise, if the group one is empty, we will let the current number belong to the group one. So element one will equal to number and vote one equal to one. Otherwise, if the group one already have some members, we will just assign the current number to group two. Though element so element two will equal to nine, vote two equal to one. Otherwise, if the current number don't belong to any of these two groups, we should uh, uh, like uh, sacrifice each or one member from each group to fight with that element. So vote one should uh, decrement by one and vote two should also decrement by one. But as this question didn't say that uh, there will always exist two um, elements or it will always have answers. So we need to check whether these two elements did uh, occur more than n over three times. Just a simple check. Okay. Now let's write the code. Actually, it's um, simple, I think, if you know this algorithm. So we need the element equal to zero and the vote equal to zero. Then we iterate the numbers. Uh, the same if the element equal to number and the vote greater than zero, then vote will increment by one. Else, if vote equal to zero, then we just assign element equal to num and vote equal to one. Else, vote will decrement by one. And uh, in the end, because these always have answer. So we just return this element. Yeah, okay. Now let's see the other question. Okay, we will write, uh, actually we need uh, element one equal to zero, element two equal to zero, and uh, vote one equal to zero, eh? Vote two equal to zero. And uh, we iterate the numbers the same. Only in two cases, if element one equal to a uh, number and the uh, vote one greater than zero uh, belong to group one. So we just uh, vote one increment, increment by one. Else, if element two equal to none and uh, vote two greater than zero, then um, vote two should uh, increment by one. Else, if vote one equal to zero, then uh, vote 1 should uh, be 1 and uh, element 1 will equal to none. Else, if vote 2 equal to 0 and um, vote 2 should uh, be assigned to 1 and element 2 equal to none. Otherwise, every team will sacrifice one member. Then vote 1 decrement by 1. Vote 2 decrement by 1. Okay? Now, we need to check whether they did uh, exist more than n divide three times. So that will be zero, count two equal to zero. Then we um, iterate uh, numbers. Well, if uh, number equal to element one, then count one should uh, increment by one. Else if uh, number equal to element two, then count two will increment by one. Okay, we need to return um, result. There will be new array list. Now let's check if count one greater than uh, numbers dot length 
divide three. If yes, then result should add uh, element one. If uh, count two greater than number store length, divide three, then result should uh, add uh, element two. Okay, in the end, let's return result. Okay. Yeah, we should always write correct vote one, vote two, and element one, element two. Yeah, hope that's correct. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.